Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nacho, so you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today not the first time we see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop all about the world. So for now, I almost start with today's news. So Simon Jordan will be one of the football pundits for Talk Sports. So in Kondi Talk, say in the C Arsenal actually winning the league next season. So now we see him the C and Baba can give reasons why him feel say Arsenal go win the league next season. First of all, you can say when you look at the way we Arsenal they play, Arsenal are going through a natural progression. Like initially it was about 84 points from 84 points, you've gone to like 89 points. Say so like that, like that. The next thing now now for us now to go maybe 95 points or so 90 something points they like there must be progress because when you look at the last two seasons we don't enter title contention and now we are looking at winning the league so all indices and indicators all signs and symbols everything they show say us now next season they go break that jinx they go actually do them so now what's it in the sea and the truth is I share similar, similar sentiments. I actually subscribe to his line of thoughts, although with one disclaimer. Arsenal need to bring in reinforcements, especially in the striking department. You cannot carry the current striking player, so we get, don't carry them enter next season without improving. It will really, really affect us. Remember the season before this last season? We did so well with Gabriel Jesus, we were so happy. That yes, Gabriel Jesus and the KTR, they're going to do well. This is the way just passed. This is the way just passed. Imagine we never brought in Kai Havertz. How you think, say, we go take fair? Because Gabriel Jesus brought his own injury, Bruhaha, and Educator was nowhere to be found. So, how we for take fair? Do you think without Kai Havertz contributing his goal quota, we would have finished second? These are the questions because last season, this season we just passed, was a season where we didn't even see. Martinelli, Martinelli went missing. He lost form. So next season, I actually subscribe to what Simon Jordan is saying, but we still need to strengthen because if you think, say, this is the way just passed now, be very, very tough. Wait, to make next season start. Now they're going to say next season is going to be tougher. Next season is going to be harder. Yes. So now do with me, I see. So I don't know what I want to subscribe to simon jordan line of thoughts with a little disclaimer that we should also strengthen yes so now what's in me i did so now away from that sir, so the london evening standard from commercial they let us know say arsenal was the struggle to convince martin zubimendi they say make him come join us for england so they say arsenal is struggling to convince martin zubimendi to make the switch to england according to hitc the midfielder uh, is because that has dream midfield signing believing it would be a perfect fit for the club. But the issue we say, actually bringing him out of Riso Sedad. So as we don't say no good days, because most of all these players, that Spain, it will be like their comfort zone. So to come out them, don't be like say they are extract tooth for your mouth. To come out them from that their comfort zone, it is usually they had. Now similar to some of all these Syria players, each of them, their goals and objectives now to play for Real Madrid Barcelona for Syria. Now, Juventus is similar in Milan. So, to so go there, go carry them, come here. They usually be very, very hard. But thank God, we have a robust market. So, if Matthew Zubimendi you no know, work, but we'll put eye for other players, we go fit work. So, now do with me. I see him. So, I don't know what are your thoughts. It's not like we have an obligation that we must sign Matthew Zubimendi. No. I know actually agree to that one. So, if that one no work, We'll actually go get somebody else that might be fit for purpose getting a square peg that we're going to be putting in a square hole now talking about what's in the mirror they put out about benjamin sesco so the mirror is actually saying as now they plan to sell the likes of Rhys nelson aaron ramsdale and eddie in Ketia to fund the move for benjamin sesco because they feel say the guy fee fee they high but according to reports, all we are hearing is that guy is going to be costing about 50 something million pounds. So, now maybe the cheapest strike will even be available if we won't go sign up. So, talking about selling Ramsdale in Ketia and uh, Fabi Vieira for what we did here, well, now nah, I thought I then go decide. So, if now the part we don't take 
raise money, it calls for more questions. Does it mean the Kronkins are not actually bringing money, like putting money down for us to bring in some reinforcement? So if we know if we sell uh, people like Ramsdale, like Dinkiti and Co, we know if we afford a 50 something million pound player, is that really what they are telling us? Because it don't really go down with me. At this point, we know sign player for the last transfer window because of the profitability and sustainability regulation, which means at least we don't get a buffer. We don't create like a breathing space between us and the FFP. So in this transfer window, I don't think so we're supposed to hear all these kinds and say, we must sell so and so, so and so and so before we come buy so, so and so player. Me, I know, now I know, I don't know how that is say, but for me, it don't really go down well with me. So may them make sure say, then support Mikel Ateta. It will be very, very important. All of us now are really optimistic. Yes, next season is going to be a banger. We want to win this, we want to win that. But you must actually support your coach by giving him money. Now, funds, now will actually determine how we go play next season because you must bring the best players. And this still goes back to waiting. You're going to club the top. You know, say, club don't do a farewell. One private jet, then can I come up for the Anfield after I'm talking bye bye? But uh, Pep and um, I said, Pep, made some comments. So I want to share with you now. First of all, but back when they explain like how Man City they win their league, you know, say early on, Man City actually used money bust everywhere. That was why they breached that one around 15 breaches of the financial fair play. So, you can imagine, say, Liverpool had unlimited funds and Liverpool could buy the likes of uh, um, Mbappe, buy the likes of Jubelian, you get. By the likes of all this, like earlier land, say, so, I think say Liverpool no go win a lot of trophies. But back when they predict, say, since Manchester City day for trial with the FA, the FA's prosecutor, even Richard Masters, who is the executive of the EPL, say that trial case it will start this year. Uh, club when they talk, say, at the end of that case, don't be surprised if they collect three titles from Manchester City given to Liverpool. Based on saying that they punish them for using money to bust them, we are going against the law, going beyond the financial threshold where people are supposed to pass. Get so now those things early on, now it helped Man City with a lot of success. They were able to bring in stars upon stars upon stars to build a star-studded team. So now waiting for the cousin, say them the little little tights with them win. They won it Liverpool way. They won it like naturally. They know. They don't go overboard, get they don't go against the law. So that's what come on, club the para I'll say because this Manchester City actually stopped the likes of Salah, who is a formidable player, from winning multiple trophies in the EPL. And me, if I can argue, I can put my chest and tell you, say club left the EPL because of Pep. Because you're the one that said, oh, as a manager, she now this. I wonder about this league 10 years, especially one, one manager will win everything. Imagine in the last seven years, last seven seasons of the EPL. One manager win her six times. So you, if you are club, you're gonna say, "Oh my God, no, it's no better thing. I can just go to Syria. Oh my God, La Liga. Oh my God, to Bundesliga. Go to where you know they this uh, monopolistic. Man, go there, go go actually win something. Then stay here, and one manager will win. Like it is mind blowing. You get. See us now. Go and look at our 2024 calendar here. Look at green, green, green. As we blow people out of the waters, blasting people at the end of the day, it wasn't still enough because of one manager and the staff for their team win get. So. The future is actually bright, so more we'll just to watch. I will even like him. Um, Moko we'll win this league before Pep come out. Because if next season now, because from the reports over here, they say after the 2024 2025 season, Pep is going to be leaving. So if Pep still win him next season, we go come to say in the last maybe eight seasons, he win him seven times. Pep can't retire. Then you go come be like say, uh, if they say Pep still did, nobody go feel winner for a hand. Say that because Pep don't come out. That's how come the winner. So me personally, I would prefer make Arsenal actually win this league next season. When Pep still did, you get so that will be like the, the, the end the era. So once we win it, Pep will know some uh, no way back. The figures will come out fine, square roots come out. So now you know, say for those who know they are aware, Antonio Conte don't sign deal now. But by the go Napoli, you get so based on saying they go Napoli, the question now becomes. Will Osime still leave Napoli to come to the EPL? So that's the one million dollar question. We made him to never really fit answer I get. Even though I'm reading reports say uh, uh, Conte a request for Lukaku. Remember Lukaku went on loan to I think it was the uh, AS Roma. Now he's back to Chelsea. So instead they contracted to Chelsea. So Chelsea don't put him on the market. But here say 
and Conte wants the guy because Conte loves to work with big strikers, loves, loves to work with the target man. So, no, just the war. If Lukaku goes to Napoli, what becomes of Osime? Is Osime really, really leaving? You get so, so many, many questions. Even PSG said, don't, don't already uh, bid for Kivichka, Kavashela. They put, they put down about 100 million. Napoli say no. So, so many movements, so many movements. But we'll just observe. Any other thing they go, if you consign us, I will let you know. If you don't consign us, then we'll free the matter. So, Ian writes, on the other hand, instead of the commercial, they talk about the clan rights form for the EPL last season. So, this report was put out by the Metro. So, Baba Kale does the clan rights form, almost say no normal. Ah, so what did the guy do last season? Almost. The guy don't carry himself, go another level, pass what they do for West Ham. Because when they first sign this guy, we would they hope say if it of if if to if if it will do what they do for West Ham, at least would they happy? But now you can surpass what they do for West Ham. Somebody scored about seven goals, made eight assists. That's about maybe like 15 goal contributions in a season. But I never do one before. Like for us now, I thought I actually gave him the freedom to bump forward. For West Ham, it didn't really have that freedom. In job, not just to protect the back four, but for here he had the likes of Giorgio, he had the likes of uh, Party to actually protect the back four. Then him on the bump forward. I know Arsenal without the ball will collapse our shape into a four four two. So you now have the likes of the Terrace, Giorgio in the middle of the park trying to intercept balls and make clink clink tackles. So all those ones say, excuse my belay. I just believe say this one are like a tip of the iceberg. Say next season. We will see the clan rice based of our like this. How we we'll just see now, she she day now intro. So, next season, we will see the main performance. Okay, so I just be very happy. Next season, our eyes will be on the trophy. Our eyes and trophy won't win. So, so far, so good, my dear Arsenal of us. The biggest news of the day is the fact that Simon Jordan, who's one of the football pundits out there in talk sports, but by the talk, say in the see us now actually winning the league uh, title next season because. Arsenal, the progress. When you look at what they've done in the last three years, because you say that progression, it is visible for everybody to see. Yeah. Because from 84 points, they move to 89 points. From 89 points, they are only going forward. So next season, don't be surprised if you see Arsenal ending the season with 95 points. Or who say we cannot even finish 100? In fact, I am even predicting that we will go the entire of next season unbeaten. Now, my own prediction be that say. Because when you look at what we did in the second half of last season, if we replicate that type of mentality, that type of form for the entirety of the season, um, who will he beat us now? Because all those little, little hiccups here and there against Man State, against uh, Aston Villa, against uh, West Ham, against Fulham, all those little, little hiccups, cure them. You can say, um, all this kind of thing, you know, they happen again. I'm bringing reinforcement because. What Samuel Jordan is saying is actually true to an extent. You get the little area where I know agree now. All these things can happen only when we bring in reinforcement. We need striker reinforcement. You get getting somebody that knows how to put the ball at the back of the net, you get that has a killer instinct, becoming a fox in the box. So when we have these type of players, who says you cannot bombard anybody? And then you go to say next is when you go and say I'm gonna blast like 3-0. It's possible, they are humans, you get. They have blood flowing, they're not being alien. Okay, so I believe it is possible. So we'll just keep our hopes high, get be optimistic and see what will happen next season. So, my dear Arsenal of us, I think this is a fine place for us to call the show and end. So it's like come your way in the evening to give you the evening show. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now get out, guys. All right. Go that ball. Bye-bye.